So, and off we go with the second part of building the 28 Mac Challenge Sniper. Could easily be a Black Phalanx Agent 2. I am live streaming parallel on Instagram. Uh, all the YouTubers who are watching, you are watching a recording. <laughs> So my place is pretty much crowded over here with my tablet and um, the smartphone both in front of me and I will have to try to have everybody see what I'm doing. So in the meantime uh, which means uh, in the last 20 minutes I have also glued the torso on top of the legs so that we can easily arrange just and place the arms. I think I will redo the sniper scope because it's not quite straight, but oh well, it it kind of is and has has to cross lines with a barrel somewhere, so it might just be good. But here is a little piece, and we have to find a proper place for that wire cable part. So what I've done is I've cut a Sikaran, other Sikarans, I think Sikaran Rust Stalker leg and here goes off the scope so we have to reattach it. Um, using it as the upper arm and elbow for this piece. So this might just settle well enough. We that will probably sculpt a bit over here to get the to get his robe partially over the mechanics of his elbow. What I want is to have him, her or it or whatever resting the rifle on his knee. We will refer to him as a as a he I think. So we're not quite not quite there. Oh, come on, you thing, just come off. Attach it later when the hard work, the rough work is done on this.
So even after 20 minutes, the glue hasn't dried that much. So I still can adjust a bit. Turn stuff around. Not too much because it will break up eventually as we saw with the scope. I usually try to get stuff glued on two or three joints or points, so to say, to give the model the most stability. Well, the camera angles aren't optimal yet. Nice if you Instagrammers could see the model as easily as YouTubers will be. Yeah, the painting knob, no problem. I will post a recording of this kit bashing session up on YouTube later. You will be able to see everything more or less obstructed by my hands and a better quality. So, one of the next steps would be to get that cable attached over here and join with a uh, backpack, which is again a kind of um, fiddly situation, and we won't be able to do one thing first, then the other. We ha will have to. Um, do it simultaneously and it can be that um, the glue on the other parts still isn't hard enough so that we um, might not alter um, some of the pose. So another thing to consider is the left arm. Usually the easiest thing to come up with is some pointy finger because you don't have to think about how the arm aligns with a rifle or something like that. Now he's pointing on his rifle, not to the enemy. Question is why is he pointing at all? Could he be just... No. So I want the arm outstretched in a way. So another possible thing could be to use this scanner thing from the Skitari Rangers. Because he's a... Or at now, somehow... I think of him as a vampire hunter or something, so he would be scanning his surroundings with this thing to find his prey and then shoot it from the distance. So this already works pretty well and we could quite easily just go with that. The question is if we want that or if I want to do a similar setup like his uh, right arm. But him having his right arm replaced uh, through a mechanical one uh, could be due, due to the higher um, pressure the rifle will put on that limb. So. Keeping his original left arm would be a good choice. And it already looks good with all the cable attached and stuff. So what I will do at first is get that arm um, 
attached so that it um, looks good in a way. I think I might probably have to add a little bit of stuff here. It won't do to cut away because that will shorten shorten the shoulder segment. Hey Anvils, um, the helm is from um, the Dreamforge uh, Iron Core Heavy Troopers. Will probably be the only non GW part that I'm uh, using on that build, but I like it as it is, so won't uh, change that. I have um, kind of altered Grey Knight helmets in the past to achieve a similar effect, but I want this helm exactly. Yeah, I think so too much streamlined so um, first I will cut away from the um, shoulder section of the arm so the angle would fit the pose and then we will see if it has gotten too short and maybe attach a little bit of plastic over there For that I have to use a little bit of glue because of fixing it with blue tack won't put it at the same position as we want it later. So the length of the arm looks quite okay, but the my height isn't quite there yet. I would like it more like that. always good to have some little tidbit of sprue lying around. I like that very much. Better than the pointy, pointy finger. So then there's this. Like infrared beamer or so, which will help him scan his surroundings. I'm not sure if it's too much, could be. I want it somehow to be connected to his helmet and kind of swiveling. Attachment pointing in the direction of his scanner later um, of the rifle. 
Now that's a part I'm not entirely sure. It just could be too much. We will see that when um, we have placed various sets of stuff to his belt. Cool to have that over there somewhere. And I want to use this backpack because it has that. Originally, it's an intake, but we might use that to connect it to the rifle later. Let's just. So I'm already altering the um, original concept you can see at the moment on my Instagram. Not connecting that um, piece of pipe here to the rifle, but to the to his body. Because here the small wires are going to the somewhere to the rifle. We might have to bend this a little bit, so we come around his bionics and then connect with the backpack through some additional piece. Create a flat fur sur versus a <laughs> flat surface first. Make a bit of room so we can adapt the position. So how's everyone? What are you doing at the moment? So I've added a little piece of sprue to the backpack where the where there's a space to give a little bit more stability while attaching it to his back.
Dan trying to get at least two points of connection. So we only have to fill that part over here with a little bit of um, tubing, cabling. And I think I will next up will be to make a cut over here so that this piece can get a little closer. Not too much. Just so it slips. stuff again keeping the control of the of the pincers with my left is always kind of pain in the ass There should be toothpicks somewhere. So we'll probably have to cut away part of this extension to get a nice fitting cable plug inside here. But we have to let that dry. Let's play around with that little lightsaber thing here. That will be the scope for the rifle. I think it actually is part of the um, you will see it probably on YouTube later. It's part of the of the X of the Adeptus Mechanicus um, uh, Tech Priest of the Dominus with a um, part of a Death Watch bolter scope attached to the front and uh, back end of a, a regular one of these snap fit marine bolters so let's get this onto here it will alter the look of it again and fill another big gap 
Hey Kodos, thank you. So now from, from this view it's pretty much full with details, we don't need any more. Just have to handle that part over here where it's totally empty. Over here is a little part where we maybe can attach a satchel or something like that. Hey Dive Buyer! Hello everyone, I have totally um, neglected um, looking on the feed, so I'm sorry if I haven't asked any questions so far. It's a bit of a tricky build, which needs lots of concentration. Really love to get this part here somewhere over here. I have to think about something to fill that gap on the top. And I have, I'm pretty sure I had something for that already. Can't find it at the moment. Grenade arm pistol stuff. Yeah, well. Somehow I want to have him that pistol over here, which is pretty much the gap filler we need over here. When in the original design there was the shield with a blood to drop which would make the transition from torso to arm look a bit more yeah smoother that makes sense So what I think that this setup for live streaming and recording is quite good, it totally messes up with my back. <laughs> because I have to work around two devices. Just that little notch at the back.
So every time I have a kind of an ill fit, so to say, where parts don't go together 100%, I just use a bit more glue on a wider area. have as much connecting points as possible. So this pistol is really cool, it's from the Sidonian uh, Dragoons kit. cool thing about it is that it's not directly meant to be um, attached to a model in a given way so the details are on both sides but of course we have to cut away one side so we can attach it to the hip over here so that it doesn't stick out too much So I'm carving out a little bit over here because some of the parts would naturally give way. Either the rope or the uh, leather of the of the holster. Plastic won't, so we have to frame this a little bit. And we get another extra squishiness when we add glue on both parts. I'm trying to place it in a way that it's quite centered to all the other pieces. A bit more away from the gun over here, just so that it looks good. And now we do the same with this piece, which is straight, or rather straight, at the back. We have to give it that little bend to the back side so that it slots to his belt a little more. Could use a half round um, hobby file for that, of course. Here we go. So another 35 minutes into the build, which makes it a total of roughly one hour to get to that stage. Still not quite sure about that part, 
but I think we need that. We need that to get some extra bulk and some additional detail like a, a triangle that points in the direction of where it's looking and where it's shooting. So it's all about um, composition, so to say. That looks quite well. Over here is a part for green stuff. Mm, that part looks pretty good. So we have to come up with something to get this area closed. And we need a little... No, not, not more scanners. Ah, here's the part that I had in mind. It's, I think it's from a some Primaris Marine. The big ones with a jump, jump gravis. Would be the perfect thing. Have to cut it over here, so it centers not too bad, but not good enough. Considering we're filling this with green stuff later, this could work. Usually I try to avoid using green stuff in my models. Not entirely sure why that's the case. It has to do more with patience than with practical reasons. That's how I want it. So there's only that part over here and then we have to get this gap over here closed. We need to keep this but the angle over here is too steep. Du -du 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 -du. might work. So let's see if we can find a kind of a long satchel or something to first fill that gap. Should have some one of my small big boxes.
piece of cable. Usually I would add a magazine, but as everyone can see, the rifle doesn't use any. So what about this little Space Wolf dagger? Satchel over here would be hmm. could work. Works better than the knife I think and it covers more of that um, gap in the his robe where's it gone over here will give more stability to the whole model connecting um, the legs with the backpack and the stock of the rifle so it's a win-win-win situation over here So, 43 minutes plus first half hour into that build. Let's attach this piece again. And then I have a short break. I'll have to recharge the smartphone a bit. Let things dry and then see you later in a few minutes. This will all be on YouTube later, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure if I'm able to upload this today. So, see you in no time. Bye-bye.